Welcome to the Joy of Music. My name is Diane Bish, and I would like to invite you to join us today as we visit Galway, the capital of Western Ireland. Once an important seaport, Galway is now a bustling city with an emphasis on art and culture. Today our music comes to you from the Galway Cathedral.
The Church of Galway, known as the Cathedral of Our Lady Assumed into Heaven, is of a fairly recent period with construction beginning in 1958. The church was consecrated in 1965 by Cardinal Cushing. Although the original church was over two centuries old, the new cathedral with its Renaissance dome, pillars, and round arches is a centerpiece of Galway itself. We have a very interesting guest with us today here at the Galway Cathedral, Karina O'Connell, who plays a very interesting instrument called the Tin Whistle. We welcome you to the Joy of Music, Karina. Thank you. Can you tell us something about the Tin Whistle? Um, the Tin Whistle, or the Faddock Stone, as it is known in Ireland, um, originated back at the time of the Fianna in Celtic mythology. Um, and it's a very, very common instrument in Ireland at the moment and always has been mm -hmm. in the history of Irish music. And how did you learn to play it? Just um, as a small child? At the age of five, my father introduced me to it and all other aspects of Irish music. Um, and then I learned it in school up mm -hmm. to about the age of nine, at which stage I got professional lessons for about four or five years. So there are teachers who teach only the tin whistle? There are tin whistle teachers, yes, ah. throughout the country. Mm. And then at about 13, I more or less went solo, developing my own style, because um, there are so many different styles of whistle music throughout the country for every region, even in Galway alone. In the county of Galway, there's an East Galway style, a West Galway style, um, and people can recognize these different styles. So in different sections of Ireland, there's a different style for the tin whistle. Oh, yes. Yeah. And I have seen also that you have more than one whistle. What does that mean? 
Um, the different whistles are different keys, basically. Um, this is a D whistle, which would be the standard key that Irish music is played on mm -hmm. throughout the country. Um, I have bigger ones here. Um, the B flat, which would be the lowest. Mm -hmm. um, this would be C. These are real tin whistles, this made from tin. Um, the C, which would be a bit smaller. Generally, a semitone would make the difference about an inch or so. And anyone can buy a tin whistle, like go to a music store or and yes. buy a tin whistle. Yeah. About four pound for an average tin whistle. One of these brand here. But of course, not everyone can play it. Um, most people can manage a tune or two, but mm -hmm. um, to play it well, there's it's a minority really who really specialise on the whistle as an instrument. And you are one of those that can play it very well. Thank you. I have heard you, and it's very beautiful. <laughs> Thanks. I've heard some people ask if the tin whistle was used in the Titanic movie. Is mm. that true? It is true, yeah. It was used on the soundtrack, yeah. It's a very uh, haunting and mystical sound. Mm. Very, very beautiful. Mm. Actually, when the whistle was played first, um, before it was used for dance music, it was really used for laments, especially back in the early 1900s in Ireland. It would have been used during the time when we were suffering under the English, I suppose you'd call it an oppression, really, mm -hmm. under the English, and laments were written, mourning songs for our lost land, um, families who have been killed and things like that. It's, I suppose it's got a sad history, really.
The windows of the Galway Cathedral depict scenes from both the Old Testament and the life of Christ as narrated in the Gospels. The windows follow the sequence of our Lord's life from the adoration of the Magi to the healing of the paralytic. The beautiful rose window of the North Gable is truly the focal point of the church. It is our pleasure to play the wonderful organ of the Galway Cathedral. The organ itself is one of the finest in the west of Ireland. Built in 1966 by Rushworth and Dreeper of Liverpool, just a year after the cathedral itself was dedicated, it has 45 registers divided over three manuals. The character of the organ is warmly romantic, particularly so given the cavernous acoustic of the building.
Thank you for joining us today as we have brought you a program entitled A Musical Visit to Galway, Ireland. Our music today has come to you from the Galway Cathedral. We hope that you have been enriched by the program today and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music. <laughs>